Yeah. It's August 17th on Tuesday. I'm here at Washington Monument. It's been a while since I did a video. I'm actually working in Maryland in the Cove Point area, but we drove a couple hours to get up here on our day off. And what better place than the Washington Monument to visit while I'm in Maryland. The original, yes, this is my buddy Moose. So what's been going on since my last video is I've been working my tail off to get the financial part of my trip and my plans situated. 10, 12 hour days, six, seven days a week. And I haven't been on a trail since the last video till now. <laughs> Look at these views. We have a good day today. It's so bright I can't see what's in the screen there. I hope it's coming out okay. But... Down through there is Pennsylvania. And if you can see that, that little drop off to the left, that's Fairview Mountain. But this whole view is awesome okay I'll be back in a little bit and now I'm going to talk about another gear choice that, um, act, that I am positively taking on my trip and uh, talk to you about when I plan on starting alright we'll see you then I guess you can use both. We have a fireplace in this little shelter. It looks like a day shelter, though. We got three picnic tables and a fireplace, and it has a little grill outside here. All the modern conveniences of light. Hey, guys. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about um, when I pl I'm planning on starting. I probably mentioned it a couple of times. Um, my plan is the last week in February, possibly the first week in March. And it's all depending on finances right now. Since my last video, like I mentioned, I've been working a lot of hours getting the financial part of the hike, you know, ready and ready to go. Um, and that's coming along. I've ended up on a job now down at Maryland. They want me to stay there 18 months, but that's gonna put me past, way past 
when I want to do this trail. And I really don't want to put it off another year if I don't have to. But um, it's going to take me up to when I want to go if I can get a, a layoff at that time. And another thing I wanted to talk about is I picked up the Solomon uh, Ultra Mid 2. These are the Gore-Tex ones because I'm starting so early. I'm going to come across snow. Um, whether it helps me out with keeping my feet warm, warmer, uh, I don't know. A lot of people say that the Gore-Tex doesn't last that long, but I got it anyway just to, for extra precaution because hypothermia is not fun. And so I'm hoping they keep my feet warm and dry at the beginning of the trail. And um, this is these are so comfortable and light. I'm, I'm used to spending most of my time in work boots that are probably... I don't know, three three pounds a piece. These are a little over a pound for the pair. They feel like sneakers to me, so um, I'm happy with them. But as it warms up, I will probably switch to trail runners. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to stick with the Solomons through Pennsylvania just because of all the rocks. I don't want to hurt myself. You know, I'm an older woman. <laughs> and uh, I don't want an injury taking me off of the trail. So um, that's what's been going on, working on the financial planning of the trip, and um, I'll keep you updated with any other changes, and I know I started this channel way early, you know, before my start time, but I wanted to show different changes in gear as time progresses, because I've changed up things, I went lighter, I comprom you know, didn't want to compromise comfort for weight, so finding that m middle spot, you know, where price and weight and comfort lie, and you're comfortable with your choice, then, you know, because you're going to be out there, I'm, I'm playing in six months, so I want to be comfortable when I get to camp, you know, and be happy with my gear, you know, 100%. You know, so <clears throat> with that said, I'm debating on changing up my tent again. But the one I have is a good weight for the price. It was a little over 200 bucks. The um, Lunar Solo, six moons design, but there, it's not very roomy. I mean, if all you want to do is crawl in your tent and go to sleep, then that's fine. But <clears throat> if you have to hang out in it in the rain, it, it would suck. So, <laughs> for, for me, it would suck. I want something that I could sit up in and, and be a little comfortable. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. And I want to give a shout out to my grandkids. I love you guys. And have a good day.